Hey y'all, let's make mango barbecue chicken tenders with mac and cheese. Okay guys, so we're gonna get ready to make the milk mixture for our mac and cheese. So I have two and a half cups of heavy cream. And I have four ounces of cream cheese, which that is a half of cream cheese. Usually cream cheese is eight ounces, so I have four of that, so half of that if you need to know. We have two tables, two teaspoons of smoked paprika. Two tablespoons, teaspoons of onion powder. Two teaspoons of garlic powder. One fourth teaspoon of chili powder. One table, teaspoon of seasoned pepper. One teaspoon of salt. Get all that salt in there. A dash of hot sauce, whatever your favorite hot sauce is. Put a few little dashes of hot sauce in there. And then we're gonna whisk all this together over medium high heat. And then we'll go ahead and make our roux for our cheese sauce. Whisk all this together and we're gonna wait for, we're gonna let this simmer for a while until all of that cream cheese, that four ounces of cream cheese melts together. Okay y'all, so now our cream sauce has, is boiling, everything, uh, the cream cheese has melted. So we're gonna put one teaspoon of sugar in here, whisk that around, and then we're gonna go into making our roux for our cheese sauce. We have a five taste, tablespoons of butter that is melting. And you're gonna put about two teaspoon tablespoons of flour. I'm gonna just whisk that around for two or three minutes. This is just a thickening agent, kind of to thicken up that cheese sauce. pretty much melted and everything is combined together. Then we're gonna take our cheese, our milk mixture, and we're gonna put those in there together. Okay, everything is well combined, so we're gonna put some of our noodles back in here. We're gonna move our noodles back into the sauce. cheeses. So I have Kobe Jack. I have mozzarella. And I have sharp cheddar. Okay, so we're gonna take our cheese mixture and you can put it in a big, you know, baking dish. I put a tablespoon of butter at the bottom of the pan, but for this, I wanted it to be cute in the cast iron iron. Put a little more cheese in the middle, another layer on top. Now, so we have finished putting, making everything for the macaroni and cheese. So now I'm gonna put this in the oven at 350 for 15 minutes, and then I'm gonna put it on high for probably about two or three minutes just to get that nice brown crust. So, can't wait. So we're gonna get ready to make some mango barbecue chicken tenders using Divine Cuisine's mango barbecue sauce. So, this is real simple and easy. So I made an egg wash, so I have whole milk and uh, egg that I whisked together. So we're gonna pour that over the chicken tenders. And this would be good if you could uh, marinate it, but since, since you know I'm doing a demonstration, I didn't marinate it overnight, but you could marinate this overnight. We're gonna put some salt in there, some pepper, smoked my paprika, a little bit of a skeet seasoning, dashes of hot sauce, a little more salt, and then we're just going to kind of let that like 
like mix into the milk mixture. Then we're gonna take our chicken strips here and we're just gonna put them in the flour. I didn't season the flour, I'm just gonna put just a little bit of salt in the flour, but not a lot because we seasoned it in the milk mixture. You're gonna take off as much excess as you can and then we'll go ahead and deep fry these. So it's real simple. And then we're gonna go ahead and, you know, drench them in the Divine Cuisine's mango barbecue sauce. The Divine Cuisine's mango barbecue sauce is just another way you can use it. It's sweet. It's spicy, so you have the flavors of mango, but then you have a little hint of that scotch bonnet in there. Then you have some smoky flavors in there for like barbecue, so it's good on chicken, pork. You can use it as, a, I know some people have used it as a salad dressing. Some people have used it on, you know, the glaze of their uh, meatloaf before. So there's various ways that you can use um, the product, as well as you know, you can go online to divinecuisine.com and you can find our products. Also, we're on Amazon, so you can find us on Amazon. And if you're in the Atlanta area, you can find us at Buford's Farmers Market. So I'm just, this, this is real easy. You're just gonna drench, uh, lightly season the flour, the most of the seasonings in the egg and milk mixture. Fry these away. Okay. I use peanut oil, but put some of the mango barbecue sauce in here and let it soak into the chicken. And heat it up a little bit. Jerky jerk. So I'm just gonna let this simmer in that, and then we're gonna put everything together. Our mac and cheese and our mango barbecue chicken tenders. So we have our mango barbecue chicken strips. And who don't like barbecue and mac and cheese? Put a little greenery on top for you. And there we have it. Divine Cuisines. Mango barbecue chicken tenders with cheesy mac and cheese. To get this recipe, go to DivineCuisine.com. Oh, so we ready for the review. So now I'm about to go in and taste, y'all. I'm gonna go in. Taste it. It's macaroni and cheese is on point. It's crunchy, it's spicy, it's sweet. You know what it reminds me of? I'm gonna, do, I'm gonna eat them together. Like when you go to a restaurant and you combine the chicken, the mac and cheese, and you put it all in just one bowl. And when you got that cheesiness, I'm trying to get a big bite, y'all. Cheesiness from the mac and cheese chicken tender. Oh my God. I just went to heaven. I don't know what heaven looks like, tastes like, but this is it. And mac and cheese, it's so creamy, it's so good. I hate to dry macaroni and cheese. This is good macaroni and cheese, and then that chicken tender with a mango barbecue sauce, Die for it. Mm -hmm. You need to get it's a must make easy recipe. To get this recipe and many more, go to SavonCuisine.com. Make these mango barbecue chicken tenders, or you can make little barbecue chicken. And you got you got this, you got this mac and cheese recipe. Don't sleep on it. Go and try it. Chef Shay. Love y'all.